Hey, Treasure Fan, Joe Pal, Big D back here again with another week news announcement. And this is for July 13th and 20th, 2021. Those of you new to my channel, I try to do this every week where I talk about what's coming out new on Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K um, for the current week and then the following week. And then I also talk about any announcements. And at the end, I try to throw in any other little things that I might have heard come up or something like that. And yeah, just have fun with this. So um, first, before I get this started, I want to thank people for giving me suggestions for to do with my channel moving forward. Um, I'm definitely going to take a couple of them. Um, I'm going to start putting up, I've said this before, but I am working on it right now. I'm going to put up a few top tens. Um, for myself and also I'm going to go ahead and do, start doing some in-depth reviews on some of my movies um, that I watch and not just in-depth reviews but I'm going to start doing some in-depth reviews on series so uh, movie series kind of like the Halloween series or the Jaws series something like that so I'm going to start doing some in, my in-depth thoughts and some of that stuff um, just to see what you guys kind of think about it. it was a couple suggestions that I really like so thank you guys for that I really appreciate that and keep them coming I'm always looking for new things to do to kind of spice things up a little bit have a little bit of fun um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but my camera seems to be a little bit cleaner. Um, I cleaned out the lens and it seems, wow, there you go again. I can see myself again, which I don't know if it's a good thing or not. But, um, so anyways, with that being said, let's get into what's coming out on Blu-ray and DVD. And then we'll talk at the end about a few other exciting things. So this week we do have a few titles, mostly 4K again. Um, we have Almost Famous coming out in 4K today. Actually it's today because I'm filming this today. Um, Shot Factor releasing House of Wax today. Um, Mortal Kombat, the 2021 uh, Mortal Kombat that was just on HBO Max, has come out uh, today. There's a, it's, it's got DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, and there is an exclusive steelbook by Best Buy. Really bummed I'm going to miss out on that steelbook, but it is what it is. I'm hoping to get the movie because I actually really did like it. I, I watched it on HBO Max, and I really I thought it was a it was a really fun movie. I really enjoyed it. So um, with that being said, we do have Saving Silverman coming out uh, today, which is a old school movie from the 90s uh, starring Jack Black. It's a funny movie. Um, and the late R.E. Emery, I always say his name on, uh, the sergeant from uh, Full Metal Jacket, he's in that movie, rest in peace. Um, also, this week we have Skin Deep, um, uh, Snatch coming out in 4K for the first time. We have SpongeBob the movie, uh, Sponge on the Run, <laughs> and that's DVD, Blu-ray. I think there's a 4K on that one. Uh, and then Sylvie Silverman Snatch, uh, a Snatch is actually 4K, but Saving Silverman Skin Deep or DVD, Blu-ray only. Um... And then we have uh, the Ultimate Director's Cut of The Warriors coming out today. And the last thing is Pennywise Season... Pennyworth, sorry. Season 2 Pennywise. I'm getting an it here. Pennyworth Season 2. Sometimes I can't even read my own writing. It's ridiculous. I, I write like a doctor and I'm not even close to being a doctor. Like, yeah, yeah, I can barely mend a cut. Anyways, so that's it for this week. It's not a big week. It's kind of a ho-hum week. Mortal Kombat being the biggest title. but And uh, it is something I definitely want to pick up eventually. But otherwise... Would I like to get Saving Silverman and Skin Deep on Blu-ray? Yes. I'd love to upgrade my copies because the DVDs are not that great, but it's something I can wait for. I own them, so if it really needs I can wait for them. Now, let's talk about next week. Next week, we do have a few titles. We have Dead and Buried coming out in the on 4K for the first time. Then we have the two G.I. Joe movies, Rise of Cobra and Retaliation, both coming out in 4K for the first time. Interesting to get those on 4K. It, it, those are Paramount titles, so it looks like Paramount's trying to dive into a little bit more catalog on their 4K. Um, we have Shot Factory releasing one of my favorite creature feature cheesy flicks of all time they're releasing, which is Eight-Legged Freaks. Um, I love that movie. I, I at least watch it once a year. I, it is one of my favorite creature features. I just think it's so zany and so off the wall, but I just like the way it was, like the way it's done, the kind of tongue in cheek, but kind of cool creature effects at the same time. It's, it's David Arquette, um... A very young Scarlett Johansson. I, I think this is one of her, close to being one of her first movies. She's like, she's, she's got to be in her early teens, the mid-teens in this movie. So it's a very early Scarlett Johansson. Um, and it's just a fun movie. I've, I, I, like I said, I really enjoy watching it. I love it. I love when the big creatures, you know, big spiders coming out of nowhere and trash and things and people trying to run. I think it's just, it's funny. Oh, Dougie Doug's the other guy that's in the movie. That's right. Dougie Doug with his gold teeth at the end. I mean, it's just a really fun movie. So I'm really excited about that coming out. Hoping I get that for my birthday. Um, then we have a Little Big League coming out on Blu-ray for the first time. A really good baseball movie about a kid playing for the Minnesota Twins. Or as a manager for the Minnesota It's been a while since I've seen it. But I remember really liking that movie. I know my brother's a big fan of it. Um, and then we have, uh, next week we have Spiral coming out in 4K. Which is, I'm not sure I didn't do too much research into this. But I, I, I don't know if this is a continuation or a remake of of, of Saw. But this one uh, does star, um, <clears throat> oh my gosh. 
I just forgot his name and I can't believe it. I feel really bad. But that being aside, um, I, I haven't heard anything about it. Have you guys heard anything about Spiral? I didn't, I know it, it was released, but I didn't hear much about it, which is really weird because it's not like I've, I haven't been inundated with a thousand articles on how about Black Widow this week, you know, or uh, Fast the Fast 9, which was a couple weeks ago, like inundated, like, oh my gosh, overwhelmed. But this one, it kind of came out and then it kind of went away. So I don't know whether, if it was any good or not. So please leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you saw Spiral, if it was any good. I, I am a fan of the Saw movies. I do like those. I, and the reason why I like those is, is I like the connectivity to them. That each movie connects to the other movie. So it's just, it's this one long thread that goes to the whole movies. And I like that. And I like the fact they kept bringing back people from other movies. And I really like that. Like it, it feels more like a, like a long mini series rather than just a series of, of, of individual movies. What's also good about them is, is you can literally, you don't have to watch all of them. You can just watch one and know what the heck's going on. So I like movies like that. And it was really well done. I just don't know if this is the same thing. So, but that does come out on DVD 4k. I believe there's even a steel book for it that's coming out uh, next week. And then the last title, uh, Chris Rock was the name of the actor. I, I don't know why. You know, sometimes when I get on this thing, I get my notes set up and I do all this. I get everything ready and I forget to put something down because I want to get the, I, I don't, sometimes I wait till the last minute to do these videos and I just want to get them up because I don't want it to become old news really quickly. I want to be able to get that out there. So I'll drop the notes down and I'll think, oh yeah, I remember Chris Rock's name. No big deal. I'll move on. And then I get to the actual, I don't need to write that down. I get the actual saying it on the, on the video here and the, I, I like brain fart. I really do. It's it's hilarious. Like how I'll have this all set up in my head. I've already worked. I usually will run through this whole thing through my head once, twice before I actually do the video. And when I'm running through my head, all there, no problem. And as soon as I actually start taking the camera, then it's like, uh, I forgot that. Uh, I forgot that. I can't tell you how many times I finished one of these videos and went, I should have put that in there. Best example will be when you get down to the announcements. So, um, but let's finish off here. And the last thing coming out next week. It, it, Star Trek Discovery Season 3, and there is a, it's a Blu-ray DVD and there's a special edition steelbook. Now, why I, about that is I've been saving my money. I've been like, I've been saving up my money the last few weeks because that's what, something I really want to get. I, I've mentioned before that money's a little bit tighter right now. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, but it's just a little, it's, I just don't have as much to like free flow out there right now. So I have to be a little more picky and cheesy. So I've been saving up for Star Trek Discovery because that's Star Trek. And of course, that's what I'm going to get. But so it's a steel book, you know, so I've been saving up for that. But then I walked into Dollar Tree yesterday and, <laughs> and they had movies, which if you look on my feed, I'll be posting later today at my Dollar Tree haul. So I used part of my money for the start of Discovery, which I can't believe I did. It's not because I did pick up some Dollar Tree movies. So I find it kind of funny that like I was willing to make that sacrifice to get those Dollar Tree movies, you know, but I got some good stuff. So I got to show you I I. I really got actually good stuff. So, but it's just really funny how I've been like saving my pennies here, cutting corners here, not doing this, not doing that. Just, just like so get my little nest egg over there for Star Trek, uh, the Discovery, and then it's like, like that. I spent half of it. So, whoo, pretty funny. But it, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'll work something out. I'll just cut corners again, you know, and I'll figure it out. But it's just, it's just really funny. Where growing up, my party was mostly Star Trek, but then you walk into Dollar Tree, they got movies. Well, I got to get them. So, anyways, long story short. Um, there will be a Dollar Tree video coming up um, after this. So that's it for this week and next week. Um, now let's talk about what was announced. And there was a lot announced. I was really surprised. Um, Paramount has announced a lot of uh, uh, a, a lot of Blu-rays, which I was surprised. Um, most notably, The Longest Yard, Necessary Roughness, which are literally two of my favorite football movies of all time, are coming out um, September 21st. I love both those movies. The Longest Yard being a remake um from 1973 i want to think it was burt reynolds but this one this time had chris rock um and had adam sandler uh bill goldberg from wrestling it's a great movie got a good nelly's in it good soundtrack just a fun movie and then necessary roughness come on it's got a star trek alum in there it's got, you know with scott Bakula. um just another fun you know college football movie that i absolutely love i'm excited to see those come out it's really i'm glad paramount's putting those out so those come out both the 21st of september we also have, let's see here, Paramount Presents, their part of the line is releasing the movie Breakdown with Kurt Russell. That'll be out the 21st as well. 21st is going to be a big day for Paramount. Um, we have here, let's go here, Beavis and Butthead Do America is coming out the same day. So finally, my boys, my idiot boys are finally coming on Blu-ray. I have the laser disc of that movie, the DVD of that movie, the VHS tape of that movie. Now I'm going to have the Blu-ray. So that comes out. Also, Hardball, 
which is, I don't know if many people know about Hardball. It's a lesser known Keanu Reeves movie, which is really good, but it's not his typical John Wick or his typical like Bill and Ted or anything like that. It's a very, it's more dramatic movie, but it's really well done. Uh, Diane Lane's in it. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, it's a tearjerker. It really is. It's a, it's a tearjerker, but it's a really good baseball movie. So, um, that's coming out the 21st, another Paramount title. Um, let's see here. We have the movie Great White, which apparently was in theaters, but I didn't see it. And they've announced that movie for the, uh, uh September 7th. Um, I'm sorry. Those other movies are September. Uh, did I say September 21st on the, the Paramount ones? Like I'm sure. I hope I did. Okay. And then also Warner Brothers Archive, Warner Archive is releasing another one of my favorite comics from the eighties. And that is One Crazy Summer. I mentioned this uh, a little while ago. Um, Bobcat Goldthwait, uh is in this movie. I, I actually talked about this where he's in the, this is the actual movie where he's in the Godzilla costume going over the, the fake town and like he's, somebody threw a, a, um, a cigar in his mouth. So it's like smoke's coming out. This is that movie. And it's finally coming out the Blu-ray. I'm extremely excited about that. It's a fun, fun movie. A definite throwback to my being a kid in the 80s. So that comes out the 10th of next month, August. Um, Unbreakable is coming out on 4K for the first time. Um, the M. Night Shyamalan. I hope I'm saying that right. You know, Sixth Sense. Uh, I think he's got old in theaters now. It's coming out in theaters. Um, that comes out the 21st of September, too. Um, Shawshank Redemption is coming out in 4K. And there's an exclusive steelbook by Best Buy on that one. That's coming out the 14th of September. Thank you, a week early. Um, let's see here. Uh, we have um, big titles coming out. The Thing 4K has been announced, um, and that's coming out the 7th of September. There's a lot of stuff in September. Getting me geared up for Christmas. Um, and So The Thing in 4K the first time. I don't know I don't know where this is the port over from. Uh, I know Arrow did a remastering of it that I believe was in 4K. It was close to 4K back then. My problem with The Thing is so many companies have done great things. I know Arrow Video did... Uh, that uh, Shout Factory did uh, a, 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 ver a couple different versions of the thing. There's a lot of versions of the thing out there. So although this is big, I don't know how big this is because there's so many other definitive editions of this movie already that it's kind of, I almost kind of feel like it's like, eh, just put it out there. So that does come out on the 7th. So the same day that, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, same day as Great White. So, and then also, uh, let's see here, going through my list. Um, the, the, the most, uh, two of the most notable things first off was one, uh, in the Heights, which was just literally, in, it's in theaters right now. Um, and it just came out on Paramount, I mean, on HBO Max a couple weeks ago. That is coming out, uh, the 31st of, of August, which is not that far away. And then also just today announced A Quiet, um, A Quiet Place 2, which is still in theaters here and was only released about a month ago. It's coming out the, and I'm not kidding you, the day after my birthday, the 27th of this month. Which is really funny, like, it's still in theaters. Usually it's a couple months after they kind of... I mean, they may still be in some of those nickel and dime theaters, but when they come, they come on in, you know, those $5 theaters, stuff like that, um, which are much more prevalent in other other states other than California. Um, so uh, normally you wait a couple months, it comes out. This is coming out, and it's still in theaters. So I have a sneaking suspicion that this movie was replicated and, and burned on the Blu-ray and they manufactured it all during the pandemic when it wasn't out just so they could release it because that's coming out really quickly after its theatrical release. Um, and that will be, like I said, on the 27th of this month. I mean, they announced it today, today being, what, the 13th, and it's coming out, what, uh, 13, 14 days later, two weeks from now? Literally two weeks from today they announced it. So that's, uh, that's never, it doesn't happen like that. They don't really, they don't announce the movie for two weeks later, so... Um, but there is going to be DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, and there is a limited edition special uh, special edition a Best Buy Steelbook on that one. And then the last one, and I mentioned this last week, and son of a gun, if the, as soon as this this was the thing. So I recorded the video, did everything like that. I shut everything down, started editing, and I got a news pop-up on my phone that goes, this has been released. So, And I just talked about the video. So it is true, Star Trek's 1 through 4 are coming out on the 20... What is it? Uh, do, 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 do. The, the 7th of September, uh, which oddly enough is right around, I believe it's the it's close to the original air date of the original series. Uh, today, This year marks the 55th anniversary of Star Trek. Um, so Paramount has been getting the first four movies. We'll be releasing the first four movies that start with the motion picture, start with two, the Wrath of Khan. Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock, and Star Trek 4, The Voyage Home. Those will all be released in 4K. They've all been remastered. They're in Dolby Vision. They've got the whole the whole nine yards, the whole deal with these movies. Now, the first thing that people out there have been complaining about is why not it's the first six? So the first six with the original cast. Well, the flip side about that is, is 
my understanding is some of the articles I read was when they decided to go ahead and do this because they want to get something out for the 50th anniversary because on that same date being the, the 7th of September, they released the Star Trek, the original series, the entire original series in a Steelbook limited edition box set. So they want to do a couple special things because that's the week that marks the 55th anniversary of Star Trek. So they want to get that out. But Star Trek 5 and 6 apparently need a little bit more work. Um, and there's, I don't know if there's rights issues with them or there's something that they just couldn't get those done in time. So they want to at least get something out um, just to be able to have it out there for the 55th anniversary. And, which for me is fine. I, that's what they do all the time. Everybody's like, oh, it's a cash grab. Yeah, it's a cash grab. Um, I watch another YouTuber on here. His name is uh, Durant Cinema. Really great guy. Does a really, really good, a lot of really good stuff. Um, I love his show. He's a big Schwarzenegger fan like I am. Do you know how many different versions of John Wick that guy owns? Every time he walks in the store, they put out a new version of John Wick. Whether it be one, two, or three, he picks it up. It's always a cash grab. He falls in that same thing as I do when it comes to Star Trek. Like I, oh, it's an, I already own seven different versions of the original series on, on between DVD, VHS, whatever, and I'm going to pick up the Steelbook. So um, it is a cash grab, but I don't mind because I am so excited to see these all in 4K. Um, to see like Star Trek 2, 3, 3 being quite nearly my favorite, um, and Star Trek 4, another one of my favorites, to see, to see those in 4K, to see the new enhanced sound, to see the picture quality. These are older movies shot in 35 millimeter, so they're going to look a lot better. Unlike some of the more modern movies when it comes like when Black Widow comes out, you're not really going to notice a difference because it was shot that way. Where well, these were shot in 35 mil, so you're going to see better colors. You're going to see better shading. I'm so super excited. I read into what they've done to these movies and how they've remastered and what they put into the process of these things. I am super excited about this. I can't believe it. There's a, sp a few new special features with them, um, but it's the first four in 4K. And the better news is, even better news than that is, they're, they're working currently on right now and doing a restoration of the director's cut of Star Trek The Motion Picture. Now, those of you that don't know, there are two versions of Star Trek The Motion Picture out there. There's the there's the original theatrical cut, and then Robert Weiss, who directed the movie, I want to say in the early two, late 90s, early 2000s, he went back and took some extra footage. He cleaned up the special effects and stuff like that and did a director's cut. The director's cut only, was only available in a two-disc DVD set. Um, years and years and years ago, and it's never been available anywhere uh, ever again since then. They are currently working on that and remastering that and restoring that to 4K, which will be out next year. And I'm assuming the same time that comes out, probably you'll see five, uh, four, uh, five and six also come out in 4K as well. I, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm assuming that's probably what they're going to do. But I'm extremely excited to see the director's cut. I've always wanted to see enhanced version of the director's cut because the director's cut... Everybody who complains already long, the director's cut even longer, but I like it because it adds in more scenes that kind of go, okay... You know, I, I I I like that a little bit more. They 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 changed some stuff up. They made Vulcan look more like Vulcan in that movie. They made they enhanced the features of V'ger in that movie. They they did a lot to that movie to really bring it up. And the added features, added stuff they put in there, I really enjoy. But I enjoy anything Star Trek, so I'm a little bit biased. But at the same time, that will be coming out, so I'm super excited. I, you know, as soon as I put that video up last week, I'm not kidding. As soon as I was right in the middle of editing, it's all release one through four on 4K. So it's like, and I remember just going, ah, figures. If, and I really debate even put that video up. I'm like, should I even put this video up? But now I'll put it up and then go with it. But those are being released. I am super excited. I'm already saving my pennies for it. I I absolutely cannot wait to see this in 4K. This is, to me, cash grab me all you want on this stuff. I don't care. Um, if it's something you enjoy, you go with it. And I, I Star Trek's not the only thing. Let me tell you how many copies of, of Predator and uh, just Schwarzenegger movies in general I have. Uh, or um, s certain, you know, certain Superman. Let me tell you how many copies of the original Superman and Christopher Reeve with, uh, uh, movies I have. I have a lot, but it's it's that certain movie that I really ca that I love that I will buy multiple copies. Star Trek, same thing. I they, they could, and then what they'll probably do is they're gonna release one through four in this box set, and then next year they'll probably release one through six in a box set, and I'll probably buy that box set too. But that's the thing with fandom, and that's the thing with the with with collecting and stuff like that sometimes to a lot of people it doesn't make sense but to the collector it does and that's all that matters who cares what anybody else thinks it's what i want it's what i want to collect and the same thing seems for you should go for you guys too you know if it's something you enjoy collect it if even if, if you already own 30 million copies of that same thing if it's something that you want to enhance your collection or something that that just really hits it home for you go for it that's really what we're here that's that's what we're all here to do you know we just have fun and collect so what if it's it is different so it is what it is. Just have fun with it and roll with it. And just remember, it's your collection and nobody else's. 
So with that being said, that is it. Be on the lookout. My Dollar Tree video will be up after this. Hopefully I'll get it up sooner rather than later today, but it should go up today. Um, got to going out tonight, uh, going to go out tonight to hang out with some friends. We're going to watch, uh, the, um, uh, Fear Street 1978. So, uh, looking forward to that, but, um, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. A lot of stuff happening right now. Um, just, you know, keep in mind, movies are coming out, theaters are opening, lots of great stuff. I saw the Suicide Squad trailer. I think that looks amazing. Definitely want to see that in theaters. Um, a lot of great stuff coming up, video-wise, movie-wise. It's, it's a good time to be into movies, that's for sure. So please take care, everybody out there. Like, subscribe, the bell. You know the whole nine yards. Please share this video if you get a chance. Leave me some comments down below. Anything you excited about um, coming out recently, or maybe you heard some announcements I didn't hear. Um, again, you guys rock. You really do. Thank you so much for this. Please take care. Be safe out there. Always keep buttons. Seriously, always keep buttons because you really never know what you're going to hide. You can walk in a dollar train and they have them. And as always, live long and prosper. Bye.